Hi, so this week I've got myself another Nintendo Switch with no power. So this one, not bad condition. Have a quick look over. Tried to put the charger in, but it's not going in. And I have a quick look and you can see some end pins. So I'm going to need to open it all up, get my iFixit kit out, get the back cover off, and then get the rear heat plate off. You can see that they've been worked on it already. So we'll get it out. First thing I'm going to do is swap over the USB C port. So we take the old one off, and then we'll apply heat below and then we'll place the new one on just get into position make sure it's all lined up and then once you're happy hold it down for a couple of seconds removing the heat let it cool and then all the pins should look perfect like this and a bit of solder on the back to make it all nice and secure and give it a clean up of isopropyl then we'll pop it into the amp meter to check so it's turning on but then turning back off so I'll get my heat gun out and I can see there's a hot spot here which is linked to the real tech chip so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this real tech chip and then get a replacement off a donor board. Just line it all up, make sure it's all secure. We'll pop it in and it's showing a charge. It's slow, but it could be because of the battery is quite low. We'll get it into the housing. We'll plug it in. Now it's starting to show a proper charge. And there we go. We've got a turn on Nintendo Switch. It's all functioning as we expect. And then we'll attach the Joy-Cons. The right one goes on, clicks in nice, and then the left one clicks in nice. So now we've got ourselves a fully working Nintendo Switch. Full video in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.